hello friends hope you are doing well and welcome back to my channel novatech videos and this is the series of windows server 2022 and in today's topic we will discuss about time based group membership so we can add uh, the users into the group for timely basis so let's proceed so for this demonstration i have one server this is my domain controller as well so this is test.local domain and here we will create a group so in this OU I am gonna create one group for demo and it is going to be a security group so let's say HR so this is the group name and I'll add a new user as well to test out so I'm adding a user J O E and an ID password Okay, so I have created HR a security group and uh, Joe as a user. So before we begin, let's understand the prerequisites, what and all is required in order to perform this. So this is this feature, uh, time-based group membership was added in server 2016, and this server and my environment is 2022 and here we are gonna perform the time based group membership so the first requirement is the replication so replication is mandatory field here so all the domain controllers in your environment they are replicating each other so let's check the replication first Rep admin and repulsion query. Okay, I have three DCs and there is no error in replication, so we are good to go. And you must have also the domain admin or enterprise admin rights to perform this operation. And also, you need to make a note this is irreversible process. So, once you enable this option you do not have any option to disable it and this is uh, additional or optional feature in windows so and it is possible to uh, enable this option only using the powershell so first command i have opened the powershell here as an administrator and we'll check what are the options we have get hyphen ad optional features this this is just to check what are the optional features we have in our active directory filters i am looking for all so asterisk so in the command output let me make it large so two features we see the name is recycle bin and uh, second name is privileged access management feature so we are going to check this option and to give you more insights about this required forest mode that that is windows 2016 forest it means the forest functional level must be 2016 at least so let's quickly check so as we see forest functional level here that is windows server 2016 and uh, domain functional level is also 2016 so we are meeting to the requirement so in gui mode and let me show you how we can check it if we open the edsi edit and uh, 
obviously this is going to be a configuration mode so we will connect the configuration partition here from active directory i have selected configuration and click here open the configuration of entire directory and here if we select the services then windows nt directory services and operational features so we can see here that these are the two features which are loaded here in the powershell and from the command prompt also we can check by using this command which forest which uh, functional level we are running with uh, this is the command get ad forest and then forest mode so this is windows 16 forest also let's check the status whether this option is already enabled as i mentioned earlier this is one time process if you enable it we cannot disable it so we have the command so this is the command get ad optional features and then we can use the filter and name it's privilege access management feature if we hit enter okay so this is required forest mode and we see here enable scope now this is not yet enabled so we have to enable this feature so we will again enter the command to enable it enable open ad feature optional feature and then we can give the feature name we can name it privilege and then with the scope 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 is forest or configuration set and then target target is our domain and my domain name is test dot local okay so this is the command we are going to execute hit enter it is asking for prompt okay install all options so this is successfully done let's check that id optional feature whether this is installed or not okay we can see see here enabled scopes so this is the feature is enabled now and we are good to execute the next command so we will test first the membership of this group there is no member and we are going to add this user into this group let's check via get ad uh, group member then we have to give the group name group name is hr as we see there is no member in it get let me run one more time ad group member and group name is hr now oh, there is no group that's why it is not showing anything here and now we will add the members into it the group name we have to give hr is the group and joe is the user okay so this is important uh, to understand about this new then time span the time span is uh, now set into the minutes but we can we can set to two 
the hours or days here so for now i am just going to add for demonstration only for two minutes uh, user and this is the user joe and uh, later we will check for the hours as well we can use the dates by just simply replacing replacing this in days or hours So let's add this member. Okay, and now we will see again the group AD group member. Okay, so Joe is successfully added. And let's go to Active Directory and see if Joe is successfully added. Yes, Joe is successfully added to this group. Okay, we will so we will now check ad group hr property so within two minutes it should remove let's see time to live enter and time to live we can see here the tight ttl time is 112 let's so this is the command to check it get ad group then the group name and property members so member time to live for how long this group will this user will be part of hr let's execute one more time time should be reduced we can see 88 second now let's try now okay 75 seconds we'll just keep monitoring it whether this user Joe is getting removed automatically or not let's check it out now okay 56 seconds remaining and after 56 seconds this user Joe will be removed from HR group try now so 36 remaining six second remaining let's try still joe is the member of hr or not still it's there let's try now so we are just monitoring so 18 seconds remaining try seven seconds remaining and this time it should be removed so we do not see any time to live of this joe member so let's check it out through command prompt first get a group member there is no member we don't see any and go back to the security group and member we can see the joe is removed furthermore as we discussed so we can see we can select the time in days and hours as well so let's change Joe URS okay so now the Joe member will be added into HR group for two hours or we can we can change it to days as well two days three days how many days you want we can select the days here as well days So successfully added let's verify one more time so this time we added this Joe for two days also we can modify the script if we have multiple users so in members we can add them in the single script so here we can select the members more than one 
we can modify this one as well so this is how we can add uh, the members into a group for time being what you, but one thing to note down here if you have uh, the your users are syncing to azure ad or uh, any cloud then this is not the good exercise because after 30 minutes if you are giving a very short time like two minutes or three minutes or half an hour because the replication take place or the sync takes place in each 30 minutes or as per the time you set for uh, synchronization to azure ad connect so that the users can add to azure active directory as well so this will not work out if we are enabling this feature for 30 minutes or 45 minutes because sometimes the users or the replication process takes more than an, an hour based on our environment if we have multiple domain controllers in your environment on different different sites so this is not at all advisable to give any short time unless you know about it so still if there is any requirement to add any user for just 30 minutes what you can do uh, to sync to azure ad you can run the delta sync so immediately the objects with changes that is sync to azure ad so it can be more beneficial in day-to-day -day environment for administrators or ad administrators and we can manage the time-based group membership here if you want to if you want me to prepare a video to automate this uh, please leave your comments so i can i can automate the entire process so that you don't need to again and again do this uh, the power cell scripting so that's all in this video in the next video we will create the dynamic group as well so they will be although also the time based group and once the time is elapsed uh, the group will be by default removed or deleted so let's catch up in the next video and if you are liking my videos please do subscribe and share with your friends thanks for watching